for the first time in a couple of years. It's a, this is really a big occasion. We haven't had a, had a Elvis haircut day out at uh, out at Chaffee Crossing, and 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 this really is a, a big event. Tell me about March twenty sixth. Elvis Haircut Day is back since we've been out since 2019. So it's been three years since we had an event. And we are so excited to bring this back because, you know, it's a tradition. It's a part of Fort Smith history. And in the Elvis Barbershop Museum or the Chaffee Barbershop Museum, we provide free buzz cuts and we have a little bit of a party to celebrate the anniversary of Elvis getting his first GI buzz cut in that barbershop museum. So this is something like the well, I've forgotten how many years it is, but 56, 58th anniversary of the haircut. It was 1958. So I guess that makes it the 54th anniversary. And, uh, but it's also this year, the 80th anniversary of Camp Chaffee opening in 1942. And so we just decided, you know, it's time to bring back the party. And, you know, we really like to throw parties. I think oh, yeah. Crossing, so <laughs> we decided to one up at this time. And we are adding an Elvis costume run. The Elvis, the first ever Elvis bike ride and fun run around the historic area. So you have to dress up like Elvis to do this. <laughs> well, we would like for right. you to. You don't have to, but it sure would add to the fun. In in fact, the, the registration is twenty dollars for for thirteen and up, and we're just trying to raise a little bit of money. We need to do some repairs on the barbershop building, and so we thought, you know, let's just make it a fun way to do this. And we kind of hope that this will become an annual event that'll tie into Elvis Haircut Day. And shoot, it may blow up and become a whole lot bigger than you know just the buzz cut. Talk about the museum itself. It is as it was when he got his hair cut. And if you've not been in there, it is really remarkable. It really is a step back in time. You know, we've got the barber chairs all done through there, the mirrors, the barber stations, the light bulbs, the walls, the benches, everything looks like it did the day that he was there. We have the actual video footage that Channel mm -hmm. 5 recorded during the bus cut. And as you can imagine, there were media just swarmed in that room, just packed in that room. And then we also have photographs. We have the camera from the Times record mm -hmm. that was used to take photos that day. And we have some of the authentic photos. We have an agreement with Elvis Presley Enterprises that we can use those images as long as we never charge admission to the museum. So the bus cuts and the museum entrance, that's always free. And of course we have the Museum of Chaffee History which has got some really cool stuff in it. And these are not such big museums that it takes you a whole long time to go through right. them or it gets boring. There are some fantastic photos and memorabilia, old military uniforms, videos, things like that. It's a, it's a fun visit. You know, it's interesting. I uh, know a lot of younger folks don't realize that that Fort Chappie or Camp Chappie back then was the center of worldwide attention when he was there getting that haircut. We've heard stories about there's three girls from the Poto area, or they were girls at the time, young teenagers, and they got in a bus and they brought a bus load, a school bus load of people over here just for the chance to catch a glimpse of Elvis. And they got all dressed up in their dresses. And a few years back on Elvis Haircut Day, they came wearing those poodle skirts and with their hair up and ponytails. And they were just adorable. And, you know, we just hear all kinds of stories. There were brooms that were stashed underneath the uh, girding and the structure mm -hmm. and the floor of the building that we found when we were adding heat and air a few years ago when we were first bringing the, the museum back. You know, and we we presume perhaps barbers had stashed them there, thinking they would come back later because it would have a little bit of Elvis's hair attached to it. So, you know, we have a lot of fun. But um, this this Elvis Fun Run is sponsored, and the bike ride they're sponsored by Fat Tire Bike Shop, which is going to be stationed out here at Chaffee Crossing sometime within the next year when they get the barracks. Oh yeah, yeah. And make this their home. So they came on board. 
And then we've got um, True Grit Running Company, of Fort mm-hmm. Smith Original. They're coming out and they're sponsoring the run side. We're going to have some really cool t-shirts. Did you, have you checked out their posts? Yes, I love those. Yes. Yeah, look at this in this logo. So with the $20 registration, you're going to get one of these really cool t-shirts. The adults that are, you know, 13 and up will receive a t-shirt. And then, of course, you know, we've got, we've got all this going on. But I have a little secret reveal to share with you also. Fort Smith Coffee Company is going to do a pop-up that morning in the in the museum parking lot. They're going to come out here and they are also going to be setting up business in the Chaffee Crossing Historic District within the coming year. So we're super excited to have this wow. community event growing and growing and All we're right. starting right now. So how do we get signed up for the uh, bike ride and the fun run? Very easy. Go to eventbrite.com. And it's E-V-E-N-T-B-R-I-T-E, eventbrite.com. And the registration is there. And you just choose whether you want the adult or the, the kids route, which is, you know, shorter. There's a longer one, a longer ride for adults on the bikes. There's a longer run for the adults. And then we also have a short route for, you know, maybe moms want to come and bring the kids. This is the second mm-hmm. Saturday of spring break. So moms could come and bring their strollers and the kids on the, on the kids bike if they want to do the 1.3 mile route just around the historic district. We try to provide something for everybody because this is fast becoming an event destination Mm -hmm. and we've got a lot of things that are going to be coming on board in the next year or so. And uh, we want families to be comfortable coming out here and it's low traffic on a Saturday morning. It's safe. It's fun. And we're just going to have a big party, but can't you just imagine the photos people in their costumes oh, yeah. running down the street, this whole herd of Elvises running down the street or riding their bikes around. And, um, you know, we, we just want to create something that people can enjoy. There's somehow, something to do. Yeah, somehow I, somehow I think that's going to go viral. And you mentioned uh, moms bringing kids out. You really do get kids or people of all ages visiting that museum. We do. There's a lot of grandparents that bring their grandkids that they've, you know, they've helped them to become Elvis fanatics and they love the music and the, the, you know, the persona that he exhibited. And so, you know, the kids want to come there. We see little girls dressed up with their hair and ponytails, a scarf around their neck and their, their poodle skirt. And they're all excited to be there in the museum. And the boys, they just hop up in that chair and they're ready for those buzz cuts. Which, by the way, a shout out to the River Valley School of Cosmetology. Yes. They provide the bus cuts free of charge. They've been very, very good friends to us over the years doing this. And so, um, you know, it started with Jimmy Don Peterson, the son of the barber who actually right. cut. Right, right. So this is Jimmy Don Peterson, and his son is also a barber. And uh, Jimmy Don, we don't think he's going to be able to make it this year, but he started this tradition, and we're really thankful for that. All right, March 26th, it is back, Elvis Haircut Day, out at the uh, the Chaffee Museum, the Haircut Museum, the Elvis Museum, all of those <laughs> all mixed into one. Lori Robertson, thank you so much for joining us. What a, 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 it's just going to be so good to get this thing back on track again. It is. It is. It's a lot of fun. I, 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 I'm just giggling thinking about all those Elvises riding bikes around and, and running <laughs> down the street. I just can't wait to see the photos.